Hey there, folks. Ever wondered about the story of toys? We've all grown up with them, but where did they come from? Today, we're going on a journey back in time to explore the origins of the toy industry and the unexpected invention of a timeless classic. The Slinky. The history of toys is as old as civilization itself. Before factories and mass production, toys were handcrafted at home or by skilled artisans. This industry originated in the Middle Ages around Nuremberg, Germany, with beautifully crafted toys made of gold, silver, brass, iron, tin, wood, silk, and leather. The Industrial Revolution was a game. Changer. With the introduction of new machinery, wood pulp paper, aniline dyes, and chromolithography, the world witnessed mass produced storybooks, card games, board games, and paper dolls. Advanced metalwork techniques gave birth to an array of steel-plated toys like trains, boats, and animals. By the late 19th century, major players like Milton Bradley, Salcho Ryder, and Parker Brothers had emerged in the United States. But it was the disruption caused by the World Wars that boosted the American toy industry. And amidst this period, an iconic toy was born. The Slinky. In 1943, marine engineer Richard James accidentally invented the Slinky while working on a spring to steady shipboard marine torsion meters during World War I. A spring fell off his desk and exhibited an end, over-end movement that sparked his curiosity. Richard refined the design and, with his wife Betty, named it the Slinky. Facing initial struggles in sales, they finally found success when Gimbel's department store agreed to sell 400 Slinkies during the Christmas season. The entire inventory was sold out within an hour and a half after Richard demonstrated the toy. Following this success, Richard quit his job and the couple opened a factory to mass-produce Slinkies. The Slinky was a hit at the 1946 American Toy Fair, and business took off in the 1950s. Despite Richard's sudden departure to join a religious cult and move to Bolivia, Betty kept the business going. She moved the factory to her hometown, Hollidaysburg, Pennsylvania, where the company still operates using the original machinery to twist the steel into a slinky. The slinky is much more than a toy. It's been used for everything from picking pecans to drapery holders, and from antennas to therapeutic devices. It's even a favorite tool among physics teachers to demonstrate wave motion. The beloved slinky has earned its place in the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C., and in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. That's quite the journey, right? And that's it for today's episode, folks. From the heart of Nuremberg in the Middle Ages to the factory floors of Pennsylvania, the story of... Toys is a fascinating tale. And remember, whether it's made of gold or tin, silk or plastic, every toy carries with it a bit of history, a bit of magic, and a lot of joy. It's truly fascinating to realize how toys evolved through time, how they adapted to different eras, and how they continue to inspire and amuse us today. From the beautifully crafted toys of the Middle Ages to the endearing slinky of the 1940s, the toy industry has always found a way to bring a smile to our faces. If you enjoyed today's journey into the world of toys, don't forget to hit that likes button. Share this video with your friends and subscribe for more fascinating stories from our past. And don't forget to leave a comment below about your favorite toy. And if you know any interesting facts or stories about it, thanks for watching everyone. Remember, keep that inner child alive and keep playing. Until next time, this episode was brought to you by Stay Curious. Stay excited.